Welcome to Mechanic. Today we have a 2014 Chevy Cruze. This Chevy Cruze has the 1.4 liter Ecotec motor in it, turbocharged. We're going to go over the process to be able to change out your oxygen sensors. On this vehicle you have two oxygen sensors. We have the first one, which is our upstream oxygen sensor, which is the one before the cationic converter. On this unit, the second oxygen sensor is at the back of the motor on the, um, the exhaust pipe going out. Right back here, right down there, you see that pipe? That is where the oxygen sensor is for this particular vehicle on the bottom side. Now it's on the, and so you would repeat the same process down there to be able to get that one and replace that one as you do the up, upstream one, just that that's at the location down there. So we're going to show you how to uh, replace this upstream one. So first we have an electric connector right here, and this is a connector that you pull. As you pull this open, the connection will come undone. All right, we got the electrical connection undone. Probably the strongest electrical connection I've ever seen on an oxygen sensor, but it's undone. Now we have that and we can get down there to undo that. We need a 22 millimeter uh, wrench and or um, socket. You have various different types. Um, this is a side one and you put your quarter inch ratchet in there and then be able to get this to uh, come loose um, oxygen sensors are notorious for being very, very stubborn to come undone. All right, so we have our ratchet, get it on there, and then be able to pull on this. That one wasn't too bad. Like I said, they're normally very, very notorious to not come undone. Sometimes you have to use heat or um, other methods. This one seemed to be too, not too bad. So then you just remove your oxygen sensor and be able to get your new one and put it and then put your new one back on. So we just go back in the reverse order, install our oxygen sensor. Now, a lot of times it's very recommended to replace them both at the same time. It does depend on which one is given the bad rating sometimes and whether you can just replace one but or if it's your catalytic converter that has a problem and that you need to replace that. So we want to uh, tighten that up a little bit. Okay, so that's on there. Now we'll rerun the electric back under that wire because that's where it was before. Then be able to line up our electric connection here. As one way that it goes in here. And then if you just squeeze, once you get it in, squeeze down on that, that clamp there and it'll pull it and lock it in the rest of the way. And so that's how you would replace your oxygen sensor. That was the upstream oxygen sensor. The downstream the same kind of concept it has a different connector on the downstream though it doesn't have this push type connector it's just a standard squeeze and, and pull undone but that's how you would change out your oxygen sensors on this 1.4 liter um, Chevy Cruze Ecotec motor thanks for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic